What's up guys, Alberto Big Boost here. You can see I have a new shirt today. That means we got some new sick part coming for the E36. That's, uh, I can't really call it a Wildberry Boost. It's like almost like half Wildberry, half uh, back to skunk, because I'm in the process of taking the old vinyl off to put new color on the car. I've got two new boxes. One, we have the Garrett G35 900 for the E36. This is that really nice part number. You can see you can get one for your car because I really, really recommend it. And then on the second box, this one came from the guys over at Turbo Smart. So I have a new wastegate to control all the power that this guy is going to produce. We have vacuum port here and vacuum port here for the top so you can go either way. You can also rotate the top to suit any um, can find space in the engine bay so you want your hose always away from heat source. I see your manifolds here. Obviously you want the hose facing the opposite way not facing towards it. Then on the bottom we also have inputs for water cooling. I am not gonna be using the water cooling option and then you have cap on the other side and this side right here is a lower port. So you have lower port and top port so you can get proper control of your exhaust valve then moving on to the bottom they have a redesigned valve that is like undercut on the other side very nice so it allows more exhaust flow than the previous version not only we got 14 psi spring but it comes with more springs so you have an assortment of springs to change different configurations to raise or lower your spring pressure then we have, this is the valve seat. This goes on the bottom of the wastegate. So this is what is gonna seal against your, between your manifold and the valve. It goes pretty much like this. Then this part seats against the manifold flange and then the 45 degree cut valve seat right here sits against the valve and it has a really good seal. We have some flanges. This one, I believe, is the outlet flange or inlet flange. No, definitely the outlet flange. So this one goes here. I really like that they use this type of clamps now, so it's a lot easier to remove or service your wastegate. No more like trying to fit the little bolt with the screw on the other side. Like it's a screw with a knot. This one's just like a 10 millimeter knot. Very easy. Just like taking off a intercooler coupler, right? Very nice. Then, on this side, we should have the inlet flange. So this is the one that's gonna sit right here. So I'm gonna end up welding this one to my exhaust manifold. Now we're gonna unbox the brand new Garrett G35 900 turbo. I'm gonna get this piece of tape up. Man, this tape is strong really holding on there aha I see a turbo here is the shiny new Garrett G35 900 this turbo is capable of producing 900 crank horsepower, so that's probably gonna be around like 800 wheel or so. Then we're gonna pair this up with a 101 AR exhaust housing. I might go to a 121, depending on how much exhaust flow my engine ended up producing. But we'll start with a 101 and then move up from there. Let's open up a beautiful exhaust housing. I like that they even have this really nice bold Garrett logo on it. This is a big Johnny. You can see the AR right here. We have a 101 AR. Really cool about the G series is that it's a V band mounted center section. So you can like 
put the turbo on, put the exhaust on, and then if you want to service the turbo, just take this v van clamp off and just take the super core off and you can leave the exhaust and everything else hooked up. I need to upgrade the spring pressure from this wastegate. It comes with a 14 PSI spring built in, which is a sky blue spring, but I want 21 PSI. So I'm looking at the spring graph right here. I have a wastegate 45. So to get 21 PSI with that one, I'm going to need a green spring and a sky blue spring. So I need to grab this nice blue color spring right here and install it along with the sky blue spring. So we're gonna take the wastegate and put it on the vise along with some nice padding to make sure we don't scratch it. Now we have the wastegate secured, we can use our tool to remove the ring. Oh, we're gonna turn it a little bit more. There you go. Now it pretty much comes out by hand. We slowly turn this thing and uncompress the wastegate. Make sure it doesn't fall out. Now we reveal the sky blue spring in there. We have four springs, half sky blue, orange, yellow, and green. We're gonna be using green along with sky blue. So we're gonna place this right here, place this over it, and now we have the two springs we're gonna use. So we're gonna place this back on the vise and clamp it down. I've always wanted to do this. Ah, so satisfying. I'm not gonna fully clamp this down since I don't know where my wastegate is gonna line up. So I'm gonna leave this loose. That way it's easier to clock where my fittings are gonna be pointed at. I'm test fitting the turbo on the car, trying to clock it to see where I want it. Also, wait. Look at this. This color is just amazing. Well, it's like hypnotizing for sure. Here's my exhaust manifold modified, so I welded the flange to suit the Turbo Smart 45 millimeter wastegate. And then I installed a 1/8 NPT female bung, so I can install a probe here to measure exhaust back pressure on the manifold. One of the cool features of having a stand on computer is that you can measure exhaust back pressure, or you can even do this as a gauge if anything. But you can measure your exhaust back pressure and determine their correct exhaust housing for your turbo that way you know if you have too much exhaust pressure the housing is too small or the turbo is too small if you have too little exhaust pressure you're losing power i couldn't just modify the manifold and just do that and then not work with this this is the adapter that i have from t4 to v band i ended up cutting the corners off and then I welded the seam that I had on the inside, so it's a nice and smooth transition from T4 into the two and a half B band. And then I'm gonna weld the flange onto the manifold. That way, I don't have any issues with then blowing gaskets or whatever. So that's one less issue to worry about. I don't have the best luck with T4 gasket. They don't seem to last very long for whatever reason so v-band is the way to go that is the purpose to go v-band if you're gonna have a t4 gasket blowing on your right before welding this up i clean up the ports a little bit with a die grinder or porting tool that was a lot nicer than what it was before there was a lot of stuff that i took out i also tried to make this uh pretty sharp over here so it's uh even more flow manifolds fully welded i ended up doing two runs on the flange one really thick one then another one with a weave that way this thing doesn't go anywhere i don't want this cracking off and then the turbo falling off too there is so much heat coming out of these wheels right now i intentionally undercut the front one that way there's more clearance for the oil return line i think i might as well even cut this one ear off so it's even more clearance for the return line so it serves no purpose I reinstall the wastegate after cleaning all the debris of the intake manifold. It's also like not too tight so I can like move it around and see which way it's gonna have to be clocked. That way then I can see if I need to clock the vacuum fittings as well. I put a 1.8 MPT plug on this for the time being that way no trash gets inside the manifold. 
you have two options now for the waste kit. You can either dump it down or up. In my case, I want to go up to the down pipe. I imagine it's going to go somewhere like around here. So this should be able to go up right here and out the hood. Then for the vacuum lines, you can see the fittings right there. I'm probably going to use the one to go in towards the block, then go up this part into the firewall area. Rather than going up this way and then getting them like tangled on something. The manifold doesn't seem to be fit too bad either. Let's go ahead and mount the turbo and see what it looks like now. Here's the final turbo fitment. I marked it exactly where I want it. Tomorrow we're gonna be putting on the turbo outlet elbow, showing you how I do that. And then we're gonna start on the downpipe and maybe dump to fabrication. It's not that tiny actually, the exhaust housing looks pretty big, even though the front housing looks almost like a GT30.